Welcome back. CBS News Miami is committed to helping you deal with mental health challenges. And sometimes those challenges come with grief. Nationally syndicated radio host Ricky Smiley has been publicly dealing with the loss of his 32-year-old son. The comedian has taken to the airwaves and social media to share his grief and in the process help others heal as he searches for it himself. He recently sat down with CBS News Miami to talk about what's happening on the other side of the microphone. Jim Barry has his story. <laughs> Come on, man. Get everybody on social media, man. He is no stranger to thousands of South Florida radio listeners. In morning drive time, a jovial Ricky Smiley is often heard entertaining audiences on his syndicated radio show, which also airs here in South Florida. But deep down inside, Smiley has been carrying an emotional burden. Probably one of my funniest shows today on the radio in the entire time I'm doing the morning show, the first two hours, I'm cracking, cracking jokes with tears. Uh, coming down my face, and that's how, how the psychological of part for my job is to make people laugh. You know, when you're devastated and sad on the inside, you know, but you still have a job to do. But Nearly four months ago, Smiley's son Brandon died. The 32-year-old was a budding comedian aiming to follow in his dad's footsteps. He left behind a grieving family, which included his own three-year-old daughter. But I couldn't, I couldn't really properly grieve when my son died because I was, I got three kids. I had to protect my kids and I had to protect my mother. I got parents and I have a son. My son had a grandmother and great-grandmother that I had to protect. And I'm at the funeral and you can't cry because you got a three-year-old granddaughter standing next to you looking at you and you got them, okay, it's a happy, happy, you know, and then, you know, that's her father. My son had a daughter. So you got to protect. Smiley says he still feels the urge to parent his lost son. Before his funeral, he dressed him a final time and accompanied the casket all the way to its final resting place. Smiley says his grief still comes in waves, sometimes even when he's on the air. And I have done the morning show and was talking on the mic and played a song and laid it on the floor and cried, to, cried into the carpet on the floor of the radio station and got up with my son going off and got myself together. All right, y'all, Ricky Smiley in the morning. In the black community, Smiley knows there is often a stigma associated with facing mental health issues, but he says he has sought professional help. I'm gonna probably check into a facility because I, I honestly feel like my mind is about to explode. I can't stop thinking um, um, my sadness is, uh, I do have some intense therapy set up uh, there's a lady uh, that lives in another state that's probably going to fly in and stay with me for three days. So uh, from what I understand that she she go really, really deep. So I'm um, looking forward to that because I need it. Smiley is sharing this journey with his followers, often posting videos on social media. And on the air, he has even brought in therapists, telling listeners about his ongoing struggle. Our mental health month awareness is uh, is so important why people should go and get therapy and get the help that they need and um, and you just can't can't church it out and pray it out and shout it out and, and Jesus it out you got to get a therapist and get deep and go deep for now Ricky Smiley says memories of the good times are getting him through and my son was fun and, and loving and kind and thoughtful and mischievous more than anything or whatever I think you know uh, you know some kids just get on the wrong track and they just can't recover but uh, my, my, my son was awesome he was a happy kid he was great uh, it was a, uh, made parenting fun Smiley encourages anyone who's going through pain, grief, and anger to get therapy. We have resources on our website. Just scan the QR code on your screen to access what we have for you on CBSMiami.com.